Earlier in the week, there had been forecasts for the game ranging from single digits to below zero. So you would assume that if it's 29 degrees, 23 degrees, I don't think weather plays that much of a factor. A lot of people would have said, well, if it was single digits or zero, it would have affected the older quarterback. And I even brought it up earlier in the week how it affected Brett Favre. It didn't affect Eli Manning. But Tom Brady is, is almost robotic. I don't know. Brett Favre was, was a great player. I don't know if he was ever a great athlete or, or in unbelievable shape, should I say, like, like Tom Brady is. I, I, don't, I, I don't think that the cold weather would have derailed Brady at all. I think it might have hurt Kansas City's explosive offense because there's certain things you just can't do. I think that with this weather, guys, I, I, I know the Patriots are playing the underdog angle. This is the first game that they've been an underdog in 53 games. But talk me off the Chiefs, Don. Talk me off the Chiefs in this one. I can't. I, I really can't. can't. I can't. You're talking I can't about the weather. Yeah. yeah you're, you're talking about the weather. Well, how is it going to be any different than it was last week? There was snow on the field. At Arrowhead when they played the uh, Colts, right? It's going to be better so than that. So the weather yeah. can't be, be that, a man to do yeah, it. So it might even be better. So Mike will be a man so, to do it right uh, now. Uh, do it. I'll do it right now. Because guess who I like? The Pats. Do it right now. You see what he's doing, Don? Do it right he's now. Because I love mockery. the Patriots, he's baby. He's making an absolute mockery. I love the Patriots. Well, you know, I, I like the Patriots, too. So if I pick No, them, I'm not, but I said it first. Okay. You didn't even give your indication. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> I, 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 I'm leaning Pats. So if you go Chiefs, that's it. Lock it. Load it. I don't think, honestly, in a show that is going to be majority talking about these two games that we can't show our hand, Mike. Well, you we, can show we have your hand. To. No, no, it's got to be out on the table. No, it's fine with me. But he's being an imp. He's being that bad guy because the only way he could win is to sit there and hope that I implode over the last three no. games and that he gets a tie. And frankly, that sickens me and it cheapens the competition. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you started it by saying talk you out of the Chiefs, so you let everybody in the world know that you liked Kansas City. Yeah, in this you know so, what? Maybe R.J. Bell talks me out of it. I haven't made a pick yet. No, maybe. We still have, right. have R.J. Well, Bell on the yeah. show? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course uh, we do. We would have had him yesterday, but just the 16 minutes just wasn't enough. You should have squeezed him in. I guess we got to show our hand. R.J. Bell on a 16-minute show would have done 40 seconds. Would have been tremendous. I believe I beat the Los Angeles Chargers beat themselves in that game. Uh, they were intimidated walking into that building. Now Kansas City's hosting the game. You've seen Mahomes answer every single question that has to be asked. Don, you uh, have been so wet on the, the Patriots year. this week. I, I've never seen you so wrong. You're right about everything. You're a sports genius. Some would say Savant. You've not wanted to give the Patriots credit all week. They dominated. That wasn't just the Chargers beating themselves. That was a brilliantly coached and executed yeah, well, football game. No, absolutely. But the game, you can't ignore the fact that the game is in ho at home. And, I, and, I, and I'm, again, I'm, I'm reading Bob Glauber's book, and I know he promote it every two seconds, but it's such a good book. You should read it. About when the Giants lost to the Bears in 85, they believed they were just as good a team. And they, and they dedicated themselves after that game and said, we have to get home field advantage. We cannot play on the road. And New England is different. They're 3-5 and five on the road this year. History shows that if they're going to be beaten, it's going to be on the road. This Kansas City team has been one of, if not the best teams all year. New England has not. All right? So I was wrong last week. All right? The Chargers did not come up big and give the Patriots credit. But I still believe that there are cracks in this armor. I still believe that the Patriots can be had. And I think the Kansas City Chiefs have all of the ability and the location of the game to get it done this Sunday. You know what? I look at it and I go, I don't know if the, if the Patriots could stop Patrick Mahomes. And I believe that Kansas City could slow down New England. And New England really won a game, and I, I'm not taking anything away from New England, but I thought that Anthony Lynn got coached under the table. Just awful. Didn't make any adjustments. Andy Reid might not win the big game, quote-unquote. He's always been a pretty good coach. He has a pretty good staff. I think that they would make some adjustments. If anything, they become a little bit conservative with a lead, but they would have changed things up. They would have gone away from the seven defensive backs that the L.A. Chargers had, so... Uh, I, I just don't think the Patriots are the best Patriots. And you know I've always been a Patriot fan sure. in terms of picking them. But you cannot, you cannot ignore that they are 3-5 and five on the road. I think uh, Trey Wingo had a stat today that he tweeted out. Don't know if you guys saw this. That 
Only two teams have made the Super Bowl with an under 500 record on the road. So they're three and five. You can't no. ignore that. And also, they, they're one and four in their last five playoff games on the road. The first two playoff games that this group ever played on the road, Tom Brady, they won those two. So people keep giving you the, 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 uh, the, the three and four number. No, no, no. They're one and four. So since 2007, one and four playing away from Foxborough. That's significant. Yeah. And here's an amazing thing. Do you realize why this game is being played in Kansas City? The Miami Miracle. If they win that game against the Dolphins, this game is in Foxborough. That wacky game coached by Adam Gase, that was the right. difference between the game being in Foxborough and the Patriots probably being favorites and being in Arrowhead and being underdogs by three and a half points. Rob Gronkowski was it? the last line of defense trying to save the Patriots from losing that game. But by the way, let's not forget, Patriots lost some other stupid games this season, too. But that one is the one well, that, they did. you know. For the, mo for the, for the most well, part of this season, let's not, let's not change our feelings here. The Chiefs were better than the Patriots. Almost all year no long, 80% of the time, we all consider the Chiefs to be significantly better, I would say, than the Patriots. Would you agree? they would not be playing this game at home. So the Patriots would have had a better record. Yep, there's and no the, question. And the one well, time let's focus they on the wins. Was, what, 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 it was a close game, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 45 41. Well, let's mm -hmm. focus on the games the Patriots did win on the road. They won three games on the road Bears, Bills, Jets. Okay, so the only good team that they beat on the road was Chicago. All right? That was a significant win, but Chicago didn't have the offense that Kansas City's going to bring to the table. So three and five, and really only one quality win on the road in Chicago. Otherwise, the Bills and the Jets were the only other two wins away from New England. That's significant. I mean, they, they're a team that utilizes every advantage they have. They might have advantages in Foxborough that we have no idea what they are. But there's an advantage to playing at home. And if you've ever been to Arrowhead Stadium, and I've been talking to a couple of people this week that have covered games there, it is one of the great home field advantages in all of sports. It's deafeningly loud. Before... Quest Field was built in Seattle. Arrowhead Stadium had the loudest decibel of any place to play football. And up until last week, they had not won a playoff game there since 1994. But they had not had a great team. And they'd still had playoff games there. But not that many. They, us they, they usually didn't win their division, so then they would play on the road. No, well, but they had a handful there. They didn't win any. Okay, but they weren't that good. Now they have Patrick Mahomes. Oh. As Trey Wingo says, future Hall of Famer Patrick Mahomes. I hear you, but they had some decent no, those teams. Are, some of those Schottenheimer, they, they had they had good teams that had home field, and they'd lose. So that was that was their problem, is that they'd go up against an Indianapolis team. Indianapolis would be ten and six. The Chiefs would be you know fourteen and two, thirteen and three, and they blow the game. But that, this is, this seems to be a different Chief team for sure. And I don't think I, I'd have to double check. I, I think this is the first time they're actually hosting a championship game. They never get to the championship. They haven't been to the Super Bowl since Super Bowl IV. We talk about the Jets. The Chiefs are much better. I agree. I agree with everything you're saying. I mean, sometimes, you know, those, those awful records could be tossed away because this team seems to be beyond that. Now let's move to the other game very quickly. Another three-and-a-half-point spread. The Rams are three-and-a-half-point underdogs to the Saints, and the Saints beat the Rams earlier in the year. But remember one thing. They did not have a keep to leap at that point. So now they do. He's back from injury. And I think that makes a big difference in covering some of the weapons that the Saints have at wide receiver. And I think that will make a huge difference. There's another stat that's really interesting. Over the first, uh, and I'm just rounding this off, over the first like 10 or 11 games of the season, the Saints were averaging an outrageous number of points per game. And they have mm. completely almost lost two touchdowns a game in the last six yeah, games. It's disappeared. Like, now they average 20 points, which is not bad, but it's not the explosive offense that scares everybody. So, if they only score 20, and I was reading today somewhere that some people think that Drew Brees' shoulder might not be that great because he's not trying any passes downfield. Remember, two passes were woefully underthrown of, of wide receivers that were wide open last week. So, if they score 20... Does anybody think that the Rams, uh, the, the Saints offense, is going to hold the Rams to 20? Uh, I don't think so. I, again, talk me off the Rams, Don. Just because I think the Saints defense is better than any defense they've ever had in their history. Yep. 
I mean, so they scored 20 points in the uh, last game, but, you know, they, they were able to hold Philadelphia down. They came up with the stops necessary. Philadelphia had those two scores early and then were shut down pretty much the rest of the way. So I agree with you. Something scary. They got out of their mojo with those three straight road games late in the year where they averaged less than 17 points, but they never seemed to get the mojo back. Yeah, well, this the, defense uh, can play. It was the Cowboys game. They scored 10. Mm -hmm. Then they put mm -hmm. up 28 against the Bucs and 12 against the Panthers. But one thing, you have to take out the game where Drew, Drew Brees didn't play. That's that's the last that's one. The, so take the 14, yeah. 14 against the Panthers. Right, take that so That's out. another one. So even when you take that out, it's still 20 points a game in the last five or six games. And Andrew, you remember they only, awry. And Andrew, you remember they only scored 48 against you guys. So. Wow, well, really? That's what you have to do to the guy? And you know what? While I'm doing that, because I'm not a fraud, they put up a mere 43 against the Redskins, so I'm, I'm there with you. Buddy. Yeah, but Andrew's team is a good team. It's a very good point. And, in fact, they just lost last week, I heard, after Alshon Jeffrey dropped a routine pass that Jack Gunling could have caught and taken into the end zone. Bill Belichick, um, I mean, he, he's lived for these championship games, and you wonder, does he get nervous? And here's his exchange with a reporter about if he does, in fact, get nervous for these games. you get nervous as the game approaches at any point? Yeah, every week. Yeah, every week. Heightened for a postseason game or one? They all count as league. Just let me know the next game that doesn't matter, so I can <laughs> take that into account. So just, just, just let me know the ones that don't, don't matter. But I'll make sure I don't... I'm excited for those.